Hey everyone, and welcome back to Chicken Cindy's. We are here at Griffin Bike Park. I'm gonna show you the best and easiest way to get to the new recon trail, and we're just gonna have fun and kind of show the trail off a little bit today. So this is the easiest way to get to this trail. You can take the water bridge actually if you want to, but we're gonna go to the South Lake Gate. And uh, of course, Griffin's like a giant circle or a giant loop. So you can really get to this any way, shape or form that you wanna get. But this is not necessarily the most fun way to get there because there's more like flowy ways. But this is the fastest way to get to recon that I'm aware of. So if you know of a little bit of a quicker way, let me know. But I do ride down here quite a bit and you know, I like to think I'm pretty good at my directions here. So just kind of follow this path that I'm taking. And this will take you pretty much to the other side of the mega pumps. I guess now it's called AWOL, uh, the trail that Jeff Lenowski designed. But this will take you right to the beginning of recon. Actually, first going this way, you'll pass the exit. So, but honestly, it's not that far of a trip to get from uh, that South Lake entrance. So it's pretty nice. Here in a minute, you'll see this part, a bunch of Y's and Jazz. To the right is a wall. You're gonna turn left here and keep going on the green perimeter trail. And actually, this trail right here is part of recon. So, this dirt mound here on the left, people ride on that. This is actually the entrance to recon. So, not too far to get here, but in case you're wondering how to, before we start the trail video, there you are. We are at the beginning of recon trail, and it's literally right off of the green perimeter trail from that south gate that I just showed you a minute ago. Sorry, it's kind of boring to get here, but I just wanted to make sure if this is what you're wanting to ride, you know how to get here. So we're going to do this trail. I'm super excited. I've done it a few times. Uh, I've not actually ridden it since opening on the 25th. Uh, I was able to ride it before then. Uh, had some really cool footage of the actual trail, but sadly it did not turn out the way I wanted it to. So we're going to redo this and we're going to kind of do like a, a how to and just kind of talk about the different features that are on this trail because there's some really cool features on this trail and i'm super stoked to get to show you guys this trail and i really hope you all enjoy it this is a double black trail technically i believe it's more of a double black due to some of the features uh, now if you're talking like double black in bigger areas and stuff like that it's not necessarily that crazy but if i remember right this first part is actually pretty flowy and fun. And there's really only like, uh, what? Two climbs technically. And the climbs really aren't that bad, which is super nice. Cause when you ride in like Illinois and Indiana, whew, there's uh, quite a few climbs typically. I know it's got a pretty big drop. I think it's like five foot, six foot, if I recall. And last time I was here, I was doing it on my actual hardtail. So it can all be done on a hardtail. I don't recommend it, <laughs> but it is doable. And trails out here today are green. So that's nice, pretty dry. There's a couple drops 
before the big drop. Maybe there's just one. Yeah, so here's the big drop. Woo! <laughs> but it just sends you. Kind of go slow right here. So you can see the drop. But it's pretty big if you look at it. And you don't really have to go too fast. But just walking up to it, it's taller than me, so it's over six foot, but it's a fun one. They built it. They built it really, really well. And if you go left there, that's the right around. So that was El Droppo. It leads into Y Control, which is literally right here. I really like this little portion, it's fun. Then it goes into a toilet bowl. <laughs> it goes right back in front of Y control. And we keep going. Depot, and this thing boots you. Really, really good. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, this will take you to, I believe this is called Over Under. As you can see, there's a bridge that goes over you as you go under. Or, you go over it as someone else goes under it. Well, this just kind of loops you back around to it. I think there's someone behind me. So I'm gonna try to see if we can actually time out this over under. <laughs> and right after this is a little climb, so. Be ready to shift. <laughs> so this feature is called elbow. Wow. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Beaver tail's awesome. <laughs> so that was called beaver tail. <laughs> that one was still just a little wet, so obviously when that one dries up, it's going to be real nice and fun. Got rattle, snake, gulch. <laughs> <laughs> and that rattlesnake gulch is the last feature and it pops you out right back on the green perimeter trail so if you come out and turn right you'll see all the different little exits so right there's elbow so as i said you could just literally hit it from the perimeter trail if you just wanted to try out like that single feature. So it's pretty cool that that's an option. And here on the left, you see this big little, big little <laughs> hill there on the left. And that's the entry to Recon Trail. Right there. So that is Tyler McCall's trail that he designed Recon Trail here at Griffin Bike Park in a nutshell and a shell of nuts. And uh, it's very, very fun. The Specialized just totally ate this up, uh, as mentioned. I did this last time actually on my hardtail, my NSS Centric, so you can do it on a hardtail. Again, some of the features are a little rough on a hardtail, but uh, the El Droppo, the, the big drop, it actually, it, it rides really, really smooth. It's really nice. It's quite intimidating just because it's pretty tall, 
pretty sure it's the tallest drop here at Griffin. So, but it's fun. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I really hope if this is something you're interested in coming to see and hit, uh, this video did actually help you on kind of like expectations and how to get to it. So uh, if you did enjoy this, please consider subscribing. Also, maybe leave a, a thumbs up because evidently people who do YouTube videos ask, ask for that stuff and I never do. So I don't know, but thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, everybody take care.